My name is Professor Rosen, and I'm going to teach you a very nice way to subtract numbers without having to borrow. And this was invented from one of my great basic math students, Jocelyn. Okay, well, this is how we do it. Instead, the typical way is you can't subtract the three from the one, so you've got to borrow from the next non-zero digit. But this is awkward, because you've got to remember middle zeros become nines and so forth. With this method, converting a subtraction problem to a, an addition problem makes it easy, because there's no borrowing. So what we do is, what we're subtracting from goes on top. And what we're subtracting from goes on the bottom. Let's keep everything lined up real nice. Because if you lose your alignment, you can make a mistake. And now, what do you add to 3 to get to 11? Jocelyn? You add 8. Since that's 11, we carry our 10. And we have 5, and Jocelyn, what do we add 5 to get to 10? 5. Again, we carry the 10 again. Jocelyn, what do we add to 6 to get to 10? 4. What carry our 10? Again, Jocelyn, what do we add to 8 to get to 1? 3. Again, carry the 10. What do we add to 7 to get to 10? 3. And what do we add to 3 to get to 9? 6. Notice when the number is smaller than that number is in the teens. When the number down here is bigger than that number is in the 1s. And as you can see, this is so much easier to get 63,458 from when we do long end borrowing. As you can see, you've got to borrow from the next non-zero digit, which is in the thousands place. The middle zeros become nines. And here's the 10 that we borrowed. And then 3 from 11 is? 8. 4 from 9 is 5. 5 from 9. 4. Now, again, we can't subtract 7 from 0, so we got to go to the next non-zero digit. And the 9 becomes a? 8. eight. Middle zeros are? Nines. Nine. Leading zero is 10. But this is so much more to remember. 7 from 10? It's 3. 6 from 9? It's 3. 2 from 8? 6. And again, the same answer. And I'm hoping you'll find turning a subtraction problem easier. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do it with decimals. We're going to convert a subtraction problem into addition problem to avoid borrowing. So let's do 6.0301 minus 2.0301. 6843. Again, to avoid remembering how to borrow, again, what you're subtracting goes on top. What you're subtracting from goes on the bottom. Again, always when you're working with decimals, keep them aligned. And let's do it. 3 plus what is 11? 8. 5 plus what is 10? 5. Again, carry our 1s. 9 plus what is 13? 4. Carry our 1s. Carry our 10. 7 plus what is 10? 3. Carry our 1s. 3 plus what is 6? 4. 3. Yep. So, 6.031 minus 2.6843 is 3.3458. With
without Barbara. Thank you. Um, look forward to our next session.